what's really interesting now is as healthcare costs is continue to rise, um, healthcare providers are asked to reduce um, costs and also find better ways to provide care. Um, cloud computing has, I think, really provide a, a way of streamlining that workflow and having a much more predictable operational cost for them. And CareStream has been investing a lot in cloud services in the last uh, five years or so, where we started with very traditional um, archive and hosting services offsite. Um, but now we're getting into a lot more into secure application hosting, such as PACs for uh, radiology and cardiology images, and also collaboration services, things like healthcare information exchange to um, teleradiology services and also offsite um, reporting as well. In the past couple of years, if you talk to any of the CIOs, meaningful use um, continues to be top of mind. And even though CareStream is a very specific medical imaging provider, um, we know that part of phase two, radiology and imaging, is a critical part of that meaningful use initiative. And the way we've designed our system and the way we've been providing that solution to our customers, um, our risk is actually already EHR modular certified and we will be fully uh, certified later this year as well. So if a customer is looking for ways to um, qualify for radiology type of meaningful use, we're right there with them. And it's not something we'll charge extra for, but it's just part of the solution that we're offering for customers. So if you look at meaningful use, we got that covered. Now if you look at another buzzword in the industry right now, the CIOs are also thinking about uh, accountable care organization. And, um, and Healthcare IT Exchange has done a fantastic job covering that. You know, imaging again, it's part of that electronic health record. And I think if you look at the delivery mechanism and also how imaging is a critical part of that patient information, we're right there too. So whether it's on site or through the cloud, our images and reports are just completely embedded within the EHR. And we feel that that's the right way for imaging to be is really part of that critical uh, patient health information. Let's take cloud computing as an example where you have different vendors in different spaces. Um, you have traditional modality vendors or healthcare vendors that are just looking at archiving. Then you have um, new vendors coming in like telecommunications folks are coming in and providing platforms as a service. And, um, and even some niche players are looking at providing that information exchange or personal health record space. Um, CareStream is actually doing all three. Because again, the investment that we've made for the last five years, we've built the infrastructure. We have 10 data centers worldwide where we have a pu private cloud or a uh, public cloud. Um, and our customers are already exchanging information and uh, doing that entire spectrum of care. So archiving, the actual imaging exchange services, and again, also collaborative community service as well. We're actually now in the process of educating our customers beyond just what cloud computing is and some of the financial and operational benefits. In fact, we're now talking about uh, and working with some industry partners such as Intel, looking at how do we actually build a secure and a sustainable cloud infrastructure, not just within our own company, but also for our customers. So if you look at security, um, it's a very generic concept, but it's yet very critical, especially when it comes to healthcare information. Um, so things like on-site physical protection to data integrity, to accountable um, data information and also traceability as well. So if you look at all these different aspects of cloud computing, that's actually something that I, we, we believe, again, we're ahead of the curve and now we're in a good position to educate our customers about. Once you build a great cloud infrastructure, how do you take advantage of that and start to build out more additional services for our customers? Um, so things like having a um, enterprise viewer that's accessible anytime on any device. Um, so whether it's iPhones, iPads, or tablets, whatever it may be, physicians need to have access to information on demand. So our technology at the back end is already enabling that. And same thing with consumerized healthcare. One of the things that we're starting to look at is how do we make imaging as part of a patient portal? As healthcare organizations are looking at rolling out uh, better patient services, imaging results should be part of that. And so um, we feel, again, with the cloud infrastructure at the back end, combined with our mobile deployment, um, we're going to be right in front of our patients as well later this year.